Look, maybe this goes without saying, but I am not a licensed contractor, nor am I, uh, am I a licensed uh, home inspector. Um, I probably don't need to clarify that, but uh, there are some things that you need to know if you are thinking about buying a house at the Oregon coast. We're talking about uh, very unique conditions um, in the air uh, that require uh, regular maintenance um, and uh, if uh, ignored could create some potential long-term damage to your investment. So uh, in this video, we're going to talk about the things that you need to do over the course of each and every year, even uh, every month, every week to prevent long-term damage. And we're getting into it right now. This is Paul Clem with your home team coming to you from the Oregon coast. And if you want to learn everything there is to know about what it's like to live, work, eat, sleep, play, and the pros and cons of living at the Oregon coast, make sure to hit that subscribe button and tap that little bell to make sure that you are notified every time we drop a new video. And we're getting people calling us, emailing us, texting us who are moving to the Oregon coast or relocating here. And we love to hear from you. So if you're thinking about moving to the Oregon coast, give us a call, send us a text, shoot us an email, uh, or even schedule a Zoom call in the description below. However you decide to get a hold of us, we have your back when it comes to moving to the Oregon coast. So one of the biggest things to know uh, before you decide to purchase a home at the Oregon coast is the air is salty. And of course that goes without saying, you're at the ocean. Um, but uh, what a lot of people may not know going into this process is uh, the potential damage that that can have on a house and the annual maintenance it requires to mitigate that damage. Um, so we're going to talk about a few different things that you can do every year to make sure that you are keeping on top of this um, and protecting your investment uh, in your Oregon Coast property. Uh, so first and foremost, uh, you're going to want to inspect your deck for damage every year. And we're talking about damage that comes from salt water or more specifically salt in the air. Um, so make sure that you're inspecting your deck every year uh, and uh, what you're going to find a lot of is corrosion on any metal on your exterior. Um, so that could be any hardware um, or any part of the frame of your deck um, and uh, even the wood itself, um, you know, un untouched. Uh, it's said that uh, the, salt, uh, the salt in the air can have uh, substantial damage within just five years um, of exposure. So if you're inspecting this every year, uh, you're identifying uh, spots where there could be potential issues, you're going to be able to avoid major repairs or replacements that could be um, uh, quite costly. Uh, so the next thing that we're gonna talk about is uh, cleaning your HVAC coils. Um, another thing that a lot of people just aren't going to necessarily think about or consider, but remember we talked about how that salty air uh, can corrode metal. Well, that air is blowing through your HVAC system um, all day, every day, and can create substantial damage. So at least a couple times a year, you wanna clean those HVAC coils and avoid having to replace the system altogether, which again, can be extremely costly. Another thing too, is when you go to sell this property at any point, if that's the case, you can you can add this in as a selling point. Hey, you know, we've we've taken care of this. We've maintained this, um, you know, over the course of X amount of years. And whereas there is typically a potential issue here, um, we've stayed out ahead of it and it's not going to be something that you have to worry about. Um, next on this list is inspecting and cleaning the windows. Similarly, the salty air uh, can corrode and impact or degrade the framing of the windows and the windows themselves. 
Um, so if you're at the coast, you probably want to have good impact windows just because of uh, uh, high winds at times. Uh, but you want to make sure you're cleaning your windows, probably even on a weekly basis to avoid any corrosion um, on, on the window itself, just, you know, from, from that moist, salty air. Um, so again, windows being something that uh, can commonly be overlooked, um, can be very costly to replace, and something that just with a little bit of uh, routine maintenance, um, you know, those, those uh, potential damages can be avoided. Um, so if we're talking about, you know, kind of inspecting the interior, uh, and expect inspecting, <clears throat> I wish I could talk today. If we're talking about inspecting the exterior, um, a, a really good preventative measure that you can take, you know, maybe monthly, quarterly, um, you know, the more, the more, the merrier probably doesn't hurt, but on a regular basis is just spraying down, um, your exterior, any part of your exterior that's exposed to these conditions, uh, with this salty air, um, if you're spraying down your deck, spraying down your siding on a regular basis, you're going to mitigate a lot of this potential damage for the long term, um, because you know it, it's not just the metal, it's not just the wood, but you know the salty air can actually uh, eat away and, and chip away at the paint as well. Um, and so, if you're regularly cleaning this off, uh, you're going to extend the life of these things, and again, avoid these costly replacements and repairs <clears throat> and <clears throat> excuse me another thing you know is just looking at the potential for uh storms you know one of the biggest activities at the oregon coast is storm watching so they're coming every year and depending on the severity and the size of the storm the amount of rain how far the tide comes in all of those things that can be affected flooding can definitely be an issue um now a lot of towns you know um and a lot of communities with, within different towns you know have areas where you know you can get houses up on a hill it's not going to be as much of a thing you know that you need to worry about but there is potential all up and down the oregon coast for flooding and in and of itself you know that could be a concern um but in particular the salt water can actually corrode and eat away at your foundation so if you've had flooding um or there's been flooding on a particular home that you are looking at, you wanna really have that inspected. Um, and there are professionals that can, uh, you know, that can, um, that can remedy those things before it becomes too much of an issue. Uh, but if, you, if you've had flooding, you know, you, you, you wanna have that taken care of very quickly and make sure that, you know, not only the water's removed and you're avoiding getting any mold or anything like that, but um, you're not gonna have any potential long-term impacts to, uh, you know, uh, structurally to the foundation. Um, so these are some pretty simple measures. You know, we're not talking about, uh, you know, a ton of resources or time um, or effort to, uh, to to take these preventative measures. But if you're not doing them, um, you know, it can really impact your investment and be extremely costly uh, to, to fix these issues long-term if you're not staying on top of it. Um, a couple other things to know is that, you know, a lot of communities uh, throughout the Oregon coast have HOAs. So if you're paying into an HOA, you might, uh, you know, you might have some of these uh, maintenance tasks uh, included in that. So you want to make sure you understand what is included with the HOA in terms of uh, maintenance and upkeep and make sure that you're filling in the gaps uh, for anything that's not being taken care of. Uh, and if you are uh, purchasing a home for a, a vacation rental, you know, if it's a place that you want to rent out, um, and you you list the home with a property manager similarly that property manager might take care of some of these routine maintenance items as well but make sure you understand what they're doing what they're not doing um, so you can stay on top of it and stay out ahead of these potential issues that that sweet salty air um, uh, can cause uh, over the course of a year so uh, I hope that was helpful. Uh, again, these are some things that you really want to consider before taking the leap and making the investment um, uh, on a home uh, at the Oregon coast. And uh, if you are thinking about buying a home at the Oregon coast, give us a call, send us a text, shoot us an email, schedule a Zoom call uh, in the description below. However you decide to get a hold of us, we have your back when it comes to moving to the Oregon coast. And until next time, we'll check you later.